I know it's awful hot out here. What you doing? Hi, I'd like to go over a problem with you that would be very helpful for the DAT on writing isomers. There's no trick on writing an isomer other than you have to do them all out and write them out. There's no way you can see an exact number of constitutional isomers. So come along and let me show you a really good example of what I'm talking about. See, I wanted to do isomers of bromochlorofluorobenzene. And we're on the DAT or the old exam or even the MCAT, and I want to hit this at lightning speed. Here's my suggestion to be able to do a problem like this. Why don't we write two of them? I put a bromine and a chlorine in the 1-2 position. Well, obviously, they have to be in the 1-3 position as well, or a 1-4. So notice I've depicted an ortho, a meta, and a para. Now, here's the trick. If you go to here and put a fluorine, that will give you one isomer. If you put it here, two, three, and four. So this would give four. I could do that in 10 seconds. Um, for example, this would be one of them. And then that would depict this one. And then this one, you would move the fluorine to there. So the ortho pathway, so to speak, gave four constitutional isomers. How about this one? Well, I could have put a fluorine there, there, there and there. They would all be different. That's four more. We're up to eight. And finally, this one would only give two. Why? Well, here I'll show you. You could put a chlorine, you could put a fluorine either here or here. That would be here. Or you could have put the fluorine either here or here, and that would be it. There would be two. So four, four, and two gives you ten. That shouldn't have taken too long to do. As a matter of fact, my cat, Hope, did it in 30 seconds. So if she did it in 30 seconds, I think you have a good shot to beat that record. All right, I hope you enjoyed how to crush a problem that most kids would be whining about that would say is an impossible question for the death, made ridiculously simple. Okay, Dr. Romano, do you like hummingbirds? I hate hummingbirds. Good day to you. You have a hummingbird right feeder right in your background. Good day to you, Dr. Romano. Be careful of the fox.